The M2 chip is next up in Apple's pipeline for its own custom silicon, and it could come later this year with a brand new redesigned MacBook Pro, according to new reports. Apple's custom next generation Mac processor entered mass production recently, which for now we're just gonna call the M2 chip, but Apple could actually name it something else. But regardless, the processors take at least three months to produce and could begin shipping as early as July, right in time for them to be integrated into Apple's next lineup of MacBooks. Produced by Apple supplier TSMC, Apple's custom M1 silicon made its debut late last year with the introduction of that Mac Mini, the MacBook Air, and the 13-inch MacBook Pro, bringing considerable performance improvements and battery efficiency over the Intel chips that it replaced. Then, just a few weeks ago, we saw the newly redesigned iMac to include the M1 chip. But next up on Apple's plate should be the new generations of MacBook Pro, specifically the rumored 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros. Now, aside from the M2 chip, which should help build upon those improvements for performance and battery efficiency, we are expecting to see quite a few new changes for the latest MacBook Pro. For starters, the design and the size should have quite an upgrade. Well, at least in terms of size, the 13 inch really is just gonna bump up to 14 inches, which we assume will be done through the reduction of bezels. And the 16 inch will actually just remain the same, though I imagine they're gonna reduce the bezels to kind of make them both look the same but uh, the screen size will obviously remain the same. So I'm guessing they're just gonna have to reduce the footprint a little bit of that 16 inch model. It's also believed that these new machines could feature flatter edges, no curves, kind of similar to what you see with the iPhone 12 models, but there have been some conflicting reports from other outlets on this, so not quite sure where we stand on the actual design. Perhaps one of the biggest changes to come with the design are the inclusion of more ports. Apple, we had a bunch of ports on MacBooks, but then they took them away and only gave us USB-C. Now, according to analyst Ming-Chi Kuo, he believes Apple is actually going to add additional ports back to the MacBook Pro models, though he really hasn't told us which specific ports these might be. However, leaked schematics did make its way out recently and some of them feature the logic board of that next generation MacBook Pro. And on the right side of the machine, there's a visible HDMI port accompanied by a USB-C slash Thunderbolt port and followed by an SD card reader. The left side features two additional USB-C Thunderbolt ports and a MagSafe charging slot for a total of three USB-C Thunderbolt ports instead of the four that we have today. Now, I'm crazy and I'd like to see one USB type A port because let's just be honest, I'm still getting products that include cables that have one end being USB type A and so I'm still having to use dongles. But don't worry, I know a lot of you guys don't wanna see that added back in and it's very possible that Apple is just never going to include that in another product, but let's just assume that there might be some other ports available. What would those be? Maybe HDMI, who knows? Uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack hasn't been removed yet. It's still possible that will be on the next generation. Something that won't be returning to the next generation, however, seems to be the touch bar. I loved the concept when it was first released. I thought it was really cool and slightly innovative and just different, but it never seemed to materialize into anything that was actually useful, at least not for me. All of the apps that did support the touch bar only implemented functions that really I ingrained in my brain how to access quickly by a keyboard shortcut. So it just didn't make any sense to move my hands off the keyboard, reach up and do the touch bar. It just does it just wasn't it just wasn't fast enough. Quo says that the touch bar will be removed in 2021 MacBook Pro models and will be replaced with a physical row of function keys. And Bloomberg's Mark Gurman has corroborated that report, saying that Apple has in fact tested versions of the new MacBook Pro that do not have a touch bar. It's also very possible that Apple transitions its displays to mini LED, a transition that has already started to take place on the new 12.9 inch iPad Pro. If Apple does transition to mini LED for the 2021 MacBook Pro models, the displays could use somewhere around 10,000 LEDs, each under 200 microns in size, which is crazy, and mini LED technology will allow for a thinner and lighter design, offering many OLED-like benefits, such as improved wide color gamut, high contrast ratios and dynamic range, and much truer blacks. And that's really it in terms of those rumors from credible sources, things that are pretty likely that could happen. 
Uh, we could expect to see again, just recapping, some slightly different looking MacBook Pro design changes, some new old ports being added, the M2 chip, and perhaps an updated mini LED display. But it would be great if we saw some other things like new color options, which doesn't really seem to happen on Pro machines. It's just not the company's style. So I wouldn't expect that, but maybe, you never know, they did it with the iMac. Uh, of course, I would love to hear your thoughts, everything that I just talked about in those comments down below. What are you excited to see about the new MacBook Pro? Uh, what are you hoping to see? Go ahead and let me know down in those comments. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.